Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Anib Hamid and these are the headlines. Pakistan has once again rejected New Delhi's claim that Kashmir is India's integral part, saying the state is an internationally recognized disputed territory. Rebuting New Delhi's response to Prime Minister Imran Khan's speech at the United Nations General Assembly, Pakistan's representatives Zulkarnain China said India can only claim to be a military occupier of the valley. China said India's accusations on Islamabad of promoting terrorism are a shameful attempt to deflect world attention from the real issues. Twenty-five people have been killed and two others critically injured in a military plane crash in northeastern Ukraine. The Interior Ministry said the aircraft crashed while landing during a training exercise. It said 20 Air Force University cadets and seven crew members were among the 27 people on board. Lebanon's Prime Minister Zadik Naid has resigned after failing to form a non-partisan government. Mustafa Adib announced his resignation after his meeting with Lebanon's President Michel Aung. <music> Beijing has accused Washington of maliciously slandering its diplomatic missions and staff in the U.S. China's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin urged the United States to stop the smear campaign, saying Washington is provoking trouble. Beijing's rebuke comes after U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is accused China's General Consulate in New York of conducting espionage. India's COVID-19 cases have crossed 5.9 million with a spike of over 85,000 infections and 1,089 deaths in the last 24 hours. The number of coronavirus cases in France has passed half a million after recording nearly 150,000 infections in the past two days. In Pakistan, seven people have died overnight, taking the toll to 6,451 with more than 309,000 cases. The pandemic has infected over 32 million worldwide and claimed more than 987,000 lives. Well, that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Take care.